Alright, it's the video you've been waiting for. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Um, eyebrows. Let's talk. So, I grew mine out. I think this is as far as I can go for y'all. I'm sorry. That's all I can do. So, let's talk about what you'll need. Tweezers, obviously. And you can do either super pointy, like I like, or these guys which are really nice too. Either one, whatever your preference is, totally fine. We're gonna need something straight. So I'm just using this little skinny brush and it's red so that y'all can see it a little bit easier. And then a pencil to mark where you're going to be ending, beginning things, whatever. I'm gonna use this really fat white one just so that y'all can see, but you can use your regular eyebrow pencil. I just wanted to make sure that y'all could really see what I was doing. And then you're going to need a spoolie. Or I'm just going to use the one on the end of my brush. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. I don't know why I set this down because it's the first thing I'm going to need. This is my spoolie. I'm going to lean in close so y'all can see. There we go. You're going to comb everything up. Like all the way, no product. There we go. Brush it, brush it, brush it. Oh, I forgot to list one thing that you're gonna need. Scissors. I just use these little guys that came with my like nail kit or something. I don't know, grooming kit, you know. Those ones you get for Christmas that you don't really want. So we're gonna trim and we're gonna trim to whatever outline we want. So, I'm going to cut all these little guys. Right, and then take your spoolie and just brush those little hairs away. But you can see already how it kind of makes it look thicker almost. I brush this up. It's kind of hard to do on the phone. There we go. Now you can also brush these down and cut them like that if that works better for you. There we go. I'm going to brush these out. I don't want these to be too short. I'm just cutting a little off. There we go. And just turn the scissors around just to get these little guys. Perfect. And we kind of, you can kind of start to see the shape build a little bit. Right, so let's trim this one. Push that that way. I'm sorry if the focus is going to be weird. I'm using the front camera on my phone and you know you can't zoom in. So I just have to get real close. Let's get these guys. Brush those out. There we go. Alright, so now that we've trimmed everything up, we're going to take that pencil, marker, whatever you want to use, and whatever you're using for your little straight across. And I'm going to take the cat hair off there. <laughs> always, always cat hair. Okay. Take the cap off my marker thing. And we're just going to do this guy, right? We're going to make sure they're both even. I'm just going to start there. Do, do. There we go. I'm going to make this just go down there. Alright, now you can see. That's right on either side of my nose. So, 
the further in your eyebrows are, except, you know, when they're close, like, touching, <laughs> the thinner your nose is going to look. It's kind of like its own little contour. So I don't like to get mine too far apart. Plus, I think too far apart also makes you look a little bit older. And we always want to look younger than we are, right? All right, so our next one, we're going to do straight line from our bottom lash up. We're going to make a little mark, right? Straight line from our bottom lash up. Make a little mark. So we don't want to trim these any shorter, because you can see it's already touching that line, right? Now faces aren't symmetrical, so it's fine if one is a little bit higher than the other, because that's just life. So we're going to do this guy, roll it over, and touch this, and just make sure, <laughs> make sure you don't press your eye down. Okay, make this a little bit prettier here. There we go. And make sure they're even that way. And they are. Now we're going to do the same thing to the top. So you want to find out where you want to put your arch. So mine, you can see it's very faint up there. But I do have an arch. So you're just going to dot one of yours. Right? You're going to go from that dot. Boop. <laughs> it's hard to hold it like this. And roll it over to your other one. And then just kind of eyeball. And there's your dots. So you can do the whole line here underneath and all of that, but that's just a lot. You can see I got white on me. Okay. Now that we've got our general map, kind of, you can go underneath here. Sorry, I've got white on me. <laughs> Who knows where it comes from. You can come under here and kind of do the same thing and make a dot where you want the internal arch to be or the bottom arch to be. I just like to wing it, you know. We just kind of want it to, because you don't want it to be too perfect, right? So now, I'm going to take our tweezers and I'm going to tweeze out everything on top here that we don't want to see and I'm going to comb all this down so I can see the hairs that aren't coming into the shape so like here actually I'm just going to draw a little line for y'all so y'all can see so we're going to draw our shape right it's a good thing about pencil so it's going to come up here Right. I'm doing with this thin one because it's going to be hard to get a um, thin line with that fat marker. You can see it's kind of like two diagonal lines, right? Going up there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm just drawing that to the arch, so here, that's where we want our highest point to be, right? As you can see, should be about the same when we fix everything. Now this, you can draw a line from here to here, here to here, but, you know. Okay, so we're going to, let me make sure this is focusing, okay, <laughs> going to get everything that's out of that line, there's not too much up here, which is nice, we're going to come over here and get these, and then get those. Now this works even if you do like a straighter brow where you don't have much of an arch, um, if you do a really, really high arch brow, this is going to work too. Um, it's all about how it works with your face. So obviously the map, quote unquote, <laughs> on my face is going to look different than yours. These dots might be higher for you, they might be a little bit lower, you know, these might be closer in or farther apart. It's just really your personal preference, but this is like a basic guide, if that makes sense.
make sense. Alright, so we're going to fast forward through this next part because you don't really need to see me sneezing <laughs> and tweezing my eyebrows, so I'll be right back. All right, now that we have plucked everything, we've combed it up, we've checked it, we're gonna fill it in and see how we did. We're, well, we're gonna erase these dots first. <laughs> we don't need those on our face. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I will come back and we'll check it out. All right, I'm back. I got the rest of my makeup on. Someone very loud just drove by. <laughs> of course, it's gonna happen. Okay, here we go. Get up close and personal. Excuse the foundation. <sighs> it's fine. I think it just doesn't like my um, primer. So let's try a different primer with it. No big deal. I'm just going to get my hair cut today, which I am excited about, because it's getting crazy back there. Alright, well, I hope if you have any questions that you would post them down below. Cat hair. Oof. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I always feel like this at the end of the video, like, is there anything else? Um, of course, I'll have all the products that I use listed below. Uh, I think that's it. Alright, well, I hope you all have a great day. Bye!